And at the Greenwood County Jail, sir, what is your name, please? Okay. Michael Hatfield. Mr. Hatfield, we'll be on the record now in your case, number 2023, CR73, State of Kansas versus Michael Keith Hatfield, County Attorney Jill Gillette for the state. Mr. Hatfield appearing in person and pro se. Mr. Hatfield, this is not your first appearance. That was back April 18th of 2023. At that time, you said you would be hiring an attorney. Then you failed to appear June 9th of 2023 for your next hearing. I had it marked on my phone as a 12th. I'm, that's my fault. It's an honest mistake. I apologize for that. All right. Well, that was back in June. And now here we are, August 11th. No, you failed to appear August 11th too, didn't you? Yes. So you've had two failures to appear. One was for a bond forfeiture. And we need to pick this case up. It is possession of a felony drug and misdemeanor paraphernalia, misdemeanor marijuana. So we need to set this for a preliminary hearing control. And we need to decide what you're going to do about an attorney. I'm going to, uh, I would like to get for, get my own, but I'd have to get back out and get back to work. Well, we tried that before and you didn't get an attorney. That was back in, what did I say? I have, my, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. I've had, a, it's been a crazy couple of months. I just had a nephew get shot in the face twice and murdered in the streets of Wichita. He was 14 years old. Mm. Um, it's been a rough couple of months for my family. I'm sure it has. That, that's just horrific. Horrible. Well, these charges date back to April 17th. Ms. Gillette, do you have your lab reports? Judge, let me, let me glance through here. Sure. Search warrant. They usually give me a deal back that shows when it was shipped to the lab. That's what I'm looking for, Judge. It sounds like they probably aren't back. Uh, I don't see them yet. Any day now, probably. All right. And on August 11th, we gave his bondsman, Pat Stevenson, 30 days stay. Did she get him in within that 30 days? It looks like maybe. Yeah, uh, sure. I'm sorry. Did she get you in here? How'd you get up, get in here in jail? Um, she brought me here. Okay. All right. So it sounds like you may have saved her 7,500. Um, are you working at this time? Yes, ma'am. Where do you work? I work, um, we, have, we clean up yards and uh, like uh, we haul old debris and scrap metal away for. A... Okay, who is, who do you mean when you say we? I work with my cousin, my, my dad gets got too sick now. He can't work no more. Okay, and do you have the name of, of a company that you use? Um, it's, uh, I don't have his card on me right now, but yeah, he has, it's got a name to it. He's got a business. Well, Mr. Hatfield, at this time, I am going to appoint an attorney, but if you have money and can get out and hire an attorney, you're welcome to do that. You won't have to use the attorney, but because of uh, the nature of these charges and this case is getting some age to it, I'm going to appoint an attorney. So you'll need to check back with Missy, my assistant, later this week to find out who your attorney is and to contact that attorney if, unless you find someone else to, to hire. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, Missy, why don't you give me a preliminary hearing control date? It doesn't. It's just October, what... October 13th at 1.30. All right. You and your attorney will need to be back here October 13th at 1.30. And hopefully all of the lab reports will be back and available by then. And is Miss, you're still in jail, is Miss... Stevens willing to uh, take another risk with you? No. 
I think she had me. Oh. There she is. Hello, Miss Stevens. Hi, how are you, Judge? I'm fine. Did I hear that as a no? Could you give me yes, a second I... chance, Miss Stevens, please? I wouldn't let you down, I promise you. Your Honor, we had to, I spent a week trying to locate him, so I do not want to be on that bond any longer. All right. Well, that's understandable. Um, and the judgment is set aside, so let's make a note in the file that the judgment is set aside so that we don't try to collect from the Stevens. Now, the question is new bond. Originally, back in April, your bond was at 10,000 and you talked us down to 7,500, then you failed to appear. We shot it up to 15,000. And so that's what it's set at right now. Can we work with me any on that, please? I just need to get back to my son. I need to get home to take care of my son. I need to help my sister. She's got a lot on her plate. Is your sister raising your son? Well, she's helping me right now since I'm in here. And she's got her five kids and, you know, she's dealing with the death of her. That was her son that was murdered? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Gillette, what is the state to say about Bond? Judge, his addresses that were given to us were no good when we tried to mail him. And he didn't show up on his Bond forfeiture August 11th. And so he has two failures to appear. And so I'm just not comfortable having him out without a bondsman that is going to help bring him back in if something happens. Um, you know, he's had, this is his fourth hearing and he's missed two out of four hearings. Um, that's not a good track record. I, I mean, I'm sympathetic about the death of a child and you know that. Um, now why? But in this matter, he is making decisions that are bad for his life and his decisions. Um, so I would like to keep it to where there's a bondsman and that it's 15,000 cash charity. I mean, even if I have electric monitoring or is anything just so I can get to work to, so I can you know pay for this to the attorney or my, my fines or. Right now your bond will remain at 15,000 cash or professional surety required. Talk to your attorney. If he has any good mo reasons to check to mod to move to modify it, I'll hear it, but that's going to be the order. And then I notice you're wearing a tattoo above your eye that seems to be becoming popular. What, what's that about? It says broken. Broken. And what, and what's that about? So I'm just, I don't know. Okay. My whole life's been broken. Well, you My can mom was murdered when I was a kid. Nothing ever goes right. You know? Just trying well, to make the best of it. it. It sounds like you need to start anew and maybe start changing the way you do things and who you associate with because you've certainly seen a lot of heartache. From, it sounds it's like ever, to to right now. Okay. okay. All right, sir. I'm going to let you go now to the ship back with the deputy, but contact your attorney in a few days and see what the attorney has to say about helping you out this is a alleged case though i mean the, the, the stuff was not even found on me does that not matter that's what we're gonna deal with at your preliminary hearing is there any way i don't have a right to a, a speedy trial or fast can we do it faster than this in any way talk to your attorney about it yes it can be done quicker if necessary uh do talk to your attorney. can i just plead guilty right now not on these felonies you're not I mean, I just need to get this. I need to get my life and get it over with. I have. Well, and keep in mind, your criminal history determines how long you may serve. What criminal history? I don't know. But if you have any, keep that in mind. I was thinking you'd been in front of me before, but maybe I'm mistaken. One time for a, an old, old traffic case. All right. We'll talk to your attorney. But for now, I'm going to let you go back with the deputy. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mr. Hatfield. Thank you for those words. All right, and uh, we have a- Judge, did you ask him about appointing an attorney for him? I just did it. He didn't, he didn't, he kept telling me he was gonna hire it, but hire one, but he's been telling us that for a number of months and hasn't. I and are the, <laughs> are, did you say the September date or the- October 13th. 